Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So this reading is for those of you that are loosely involved with someone or in an on and off again connection with someone, okay? We're going to see what you need to know about this person currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what you need to know when it comes to this person is the nine of swords. So right now they're stressed out, okay? They may not even be letting you know this, but this person is stressed. I feel like they think about you a lot at night. I also feel like this person, when it comes to you, they may have um, stabbed you in the back or betrayed you a few times. Okay, but they're really stressed out when it comes to you. Really stressed out. They think about you a lot when they're laying in bed. Okay. But yeah, when it comes to this person. Mm, all right. They're stressed because they see you as the star. So this person views you as wish fulfillment. They feel like you would be the perfect person to be in a relationship with. They feel like the two of you would be perfect together, okay? But this is someone that doesn't know whether they want to be in a committed relationship or be single. Also, for some of you, they're, they're stressed because they feel like you're healing from them. There's something about your energy um, where this person feels like you're going through like a renewal or you're, um, I feel like you're not as, stressed over this person as you used to be or the things that they do don't stress you out as much okay but they see something different about you and for some of you when it comes to you they feel like sometimes you want to be in a relationship with them and sometimes you want to be independent or single okay wow that doesn't make it true but that's just how they feel when it comes to you but yeah this person, like I said, they see you as the perfect person to be in a monogamous relationship with, to even marry. But they're indecisive because I feel like this person, they like to juggle. So they don't know if they want to be. I feel like at times, there are times where this person acts like they want to be with you and only you. And then they'll switch up and start acting single. Okay, it's almost like they can't make up their mind, but they don't want to lose you. They feel like um, things are ending between the two of you. Some of you may have ended things or they may have ended things with you. But they feel like, um, like things are going to completely end. Because I feel like they put you through a repetitive cycle. They feel this way because they see that you're no longer overextending yourself. I feel like you're not giving to this connection especially on an emotional level as much as you used to and they feel left out in the cold by you okay yeah this person they feel like you're healing like you're more focused on yourself and there's nothing wrong with that with the knight of swords being here they want to rush in toward you i do apologize guys my camera cut out but yeah some of you are going to hear from this person out of nowhere Okay. I feel like they're going to come toward you with more of a serious demeanor, letting you know, or at least um, making it seem as though they really seriously want a relationship. For some of you, they feel like they have to rush and show you that they mean business because like I, they feel like somebody else is going to snatch you up. Like I said before, they feel like you're healing and they didn't see it coming. They are now seeing you as the one, but I feel like it came out of nowhere. Like it just hit them out of nowhere that, that you're the one. Hmm. When it comes to this person, um, I feel like at some point their indecisive behavior had you waiting, but now you're starting to hold back from them, okay? 
So you are guarding your heart. They feel like you no longer want to be like in a committed relationship or when it comes to them, at some point you may have felt like this person was your end all be all, but they feel like you don't feel that way anymore. I feel like you guys are being very logical right now. Some of you know that know that this cycle needs to end. You're tired of it. Some of you are have either ended this cycle or you're wanting to because this person, they come off as very detached. I just don't get lovey-dovey vibes from this person. So yeah, they feel like you are going for a new start elsewhere like you're exploring your options or that you're looking toward the future looking toward someone that you can can expand with because i feel like that's what you want you wanted to expand this bond at some point but some of you have either abandoned this person or abandoned the thought of being with them or you may start doing this in the future but they feel like you're looking toward the future and being cold toward them They're very much attracted to you. Very attracted to you. There's something about you that boosts this person's self-esteem as well. For some of you, they may have had you in a third-party situation. Now, for a few of you, this person could be married or they could have been with someone else for quite a while and they haven't completely let go of that person. But I feel like that's going to end. For some of you, it's like a family situation. For others of you... Um, they were dealing with someone that they thought they could be happy with or that they were with for a long time. But I see that ending. So yeah, they definitely broke your heart. For some of you, this person did a number on your self-esteem or your self-confidence. Not for everyone, but for some of you, they may have. The crazy thing about it is this person, when it comes to you, they're very um possessive and defensive and what i mean by defensive is they don't want anyone else coming your way they don't want you being interested in anyone else and for some of you when you accuse this person or you let them know that you feel like they're dealing with someone else they they get defensive like they put their guard up the two of you may even argue about it or like I said, it's like they're just really guarded or they get defensive whenever you bring up someone else. There's been a lot of hurt between the two of you. I feel like the two of you are just going in different directions. You want different things. This is someone that kind of wants to play the field a little bit, but they want you. But at the same time, they want their cake can eat it too but at the same time you're looking for a you know a monogamous relationship someone that you can build a bond with hmm you definitely are guarded you have your guard up when it comes to this person and i feel like it's because you know that if as long as you're dealing with them, you would be accepting less than you deserve. See, some of for some of you, they they weren't telling you about a third party or hide they were hiding a third party. That caused you to be in your head a lot, but your intuition is on point. I feel like intuitively you guys know that this person is entertaining someone else, and your intuition is absolutely right. I feel like there have been times where you have gotten trapped in your head with a lot of different thoughts because of the love that you had, have or had for this person. But they do love you. This person's in love with you. They're in love with you, but they don't act like it. Some of you have decided to move on and in search of new love. But I feel like whenever you do that, they come back around giving you these breadcrumbs. They're very manipulative. This person's very good at um, 
trying to pull the wool over people's eyes or they play off of your soft spot. They have all of these different options, but it's like you're the the one that they know is the one. Like you, out of all of these options, you are the one that this person feels as though has everything that they're searching for. But the audacity of this is they keep searching. I feel like this person just likes attention from others. They just like getting attention. But they see you as someone very stable. They feel like that you are the one that they could spend the rest of their life with. But they're just slow making you this offer. Oh. Like I said, there's a lot of audacity in this reading. A lot of audacity. But we're going to see a little bit more about why this person is stressed out. Okay. All right. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to um, this person that my viewers are loosely involved with or in an on and off connection with. Give me more about what they need to know about this person. They're very sneaky. more shuffle hmm. okay the two of pentacles so they're 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 stressed about a decision that they need to make for some of you they think that you may have someone else you're dealing with like you've grown bored with this and I feel like for a lot of you, you've grown bored because you want to be happy. And this person, like, they tell you things that make you feel as though they really want to be in a monogamous relationship. They even ask for advice when it comes to you from other people. But when it comes time to, you know, put the action in, to do the work, it's like they they stumble, they fall short. They don't know how you feel about them anymore. They don't know if you want this or not. And it stresses them out because I feel like at one point, they were well aware that you wanted to be with them. And now it's like they don't really know. They don't know if you're completely interested. For some of you, they think someone else has your attention and that stresses them out. Karma. Give me more about this Nine of Swords. Holy Spirit, why is that here? See, they feel like you're moving on. They think you have a new start elsewhere. Yeah, they think you're moving on. They think you're leaving them. Or if you've already left them, they're stressed about it. They think you're moving on to better. A better opportunity. Give me more about this Two of Pentacles. Thank you. Look at this. Some of you told this person that you're moving on. For others of you, there's something that you said to them that makes them feel like you may no longer want this. I feel like this person flip-flops a lot. Hmm. Give me more about this page of cups. Why is that here? Yeah, some of you told this person you were leaving. They also noticed that um, the way you communicate with them is different now. Like you're not as um, lovey-dovey with, with the communication. You may have ghosted them or left them out in the cold, but they feel a coldness. And some of you may not even be aware, but they feel like a coldness there. It's almost like this person, for some of you, they may have 
because of their indecisive behavior, their juggling and this, that, and the other, it may have made you feel like you're getting cold hearted toward them. Give me more about this five of pentacles. Thank you. All right, we have the emperor. So if you did abandon this person or ghost them, it makes them um, take you more seriously. If you were to leave them or if you already have, it, it lets them know they know you mean business. Some of you are holding back. Ooh, they, they have, they're very lustful when it comes to you. Very attracted to you. But they feel like you abandoned them or you're going to abandon them for someone better. Someone that takes you or, yeah, someone that takes you more seriously. If you've been sexual with this person, they feel like you're withdrawing sex from them or this could be future energy. I feel like you guys just want peace within your emotions. I feel like this person can even bring out a toxic side of you. Okay, I feel like they're definitely toxic, very manipulative on an emotional level. They're jealous right now because they think you're hiding secrets. Because some of you aren't putting in as much action toward them as you used to. So they're jealous because they don't know what, what's going on. Wow. Okay. Let me get one more card. Give me one more card. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. You're, if you were to leave them, it's, that's going to be their karma. For some of you, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Six of um, Cups, there's a karmic they need to let go of. And they don't even get along with the karmic. They fuss a lot. Okay? They fuss and fight a lot. They have bad luck on them. And I hate to say that, but this isn't this this isn't good karma. And also, I feel I heard led on. So they may have led some of you on or you may have felt led on. Also, like the timing is off. There's something about timing that's off here. Give me more about the wheel of fortune in reverse. Why is that here? Thank you. See judgment. I feel like when it comes to them, they they know time is running out or time has run out for them. And it's all because they took too long to, to make a decision or about, you know, their charming ways or dating around, giving attention to others and this, that and the other. What is this judgment about? And see, this is literal like judgment being cast upon them by spirit. They're, they they have some negative karma, I'm telling you. Look at this. The King of Cups. They're in love with you. They just don't act like it. They don't act like it. And that's so pitiful. But there's a karmic that they need to make a decision about. They need to let the karmic go because it's like a hamster wheel. They're not learning their lessons. Give me one more card for this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is that here? It's like spirit is done playing with this person. See the Knight of Cups. For, for some of you, it's like they keep searching for greener grass. They want to be like a playboy or a playgirl. For some of you, they may have mommy or daddy issues or something. They're emotionally unavailable. And it's because, like, they don't want to feel vulnerable. Give me one more card for this Knight of Cups in reverse. Thank you. See, the hangman, they're not doing anything. And that's why some of you have either walked away or you're wanting to walk away. 
And then they're going to come rushing back in. Hmm. Wow. They, they're stuck. Someone may have played with them in the past. Not, you know, it may not have been you, but someone else may have done this and they're making other people pay for it. But they're not ready to just completely settle down as of yet. But they know they have to do something because they feel like you're going to get away. But the timing is off. There's something about the timing. They haven't learned all of the lessons that they need to learn, but they have the potential. There is potential here. They just keep making the wrong choices. And I really feel like whoever the karmic is, the karmic made this person emotionally unavailable. I feel like the karmic played games with them, was maybe cheating. Or something played off of their feelings. And it made them view relationships or, or view people differently. And, and it's not fair. Hmm. Alright. So that is uh, the reading everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this type of reading. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic Family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.